glad you and our friends could come hang out with me. I have a project we can do together. I'm making something that will remind us of everything that we've learned together this week. Great, but I was hoping we could talk about some of the things we've learned this week. I have questions. Sure, we can talk while we work. First, let's get our supplies. that reminds us of God's love for me. I Earlier this week, we talked about things that we aren't very good at. Remember, I mentioned how I'm not very good at gardening, but I'm pretty good at this. Yes, it made me think of all of the things that I'm good at, like making chili. Here's my trophy for third place at the chili cook-off. I thought it might be good enough to impress God. We are separated from God by our sin. The wrong things in our lives interfere with our relationship with him. But if I do good things, won't that make things right with God? The problem is, we can never do enough good on our own. What? That sounds awful. What am I supposed to do about that? Well, that's actually the beautiful part. While we talk, let's cut out some hearts. Do you know how to do that? Yes. You fold the paper in half and then cut it out in a sort of a small teardrop shape, like this. So anyways, I was saying, the beautiful part is that God loved you so much that he made a way to fix things. Let's write our names on the heart. There's mine. See? Courtney, you can put your name on your heart too. Mine says Lucy and I've colored it blue because that's my favorite color. But you said I couldn't be good enough on my own, but God made a way to fix it. How was that supposed to work? Well, God sent Jesus, his good and perfect son, to be our savior. He lived a perfect life, sinless life. And since we can't do that ourselves, God sent that for us. Here, have another piece of paper. Let's cut out a cross. Do you know how to do that? You fold it in half like this, and then almost in half the other way, maybe about a third. Then on the open side, not the other side unless you want to make an H, you cut out a rectangle. <laughs> And now, I can open it into a cross. So, you said Jesus was perfect. Yeah. So, he lived a perfect life, and then he paid for our imperfect life, our sin, but by giving us his life on the cross. Now, where's my tape? Oh, thanks. Here, here's my cross. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some loops with the tape, and I'm going to hang it on the wall. Make sure that you ask your parents' permission before you hang anything on your wall. So what you're saying is, God loves us so much that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life? Yeah, that's exactly right. Like we learned this week, Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus! It's like the song we've been singing this week, The Old Rugged Cross. Because of Jesus, we can cling to the cross and promise, hope, and love, and the power it represents. God gave his perfect sinless son to make up for my sins so that I can be with him forever. All these achievements are nice, and it's very important to obey God, but only Jesus' love for us can make us right with God. I'm going to put a tape loop on the back of my heart and put it here on my cross. Hey, it's like it's clinging to the cross. Now when I look at it, I can remember what Jesus did for me, and that I cling to the cross true, just like the song says. 
I love it. It looks great. I think so too. Why don't we pray together before we leave? Dear Jesus, I just pray and I thank you for all the things that you've given us in your life, including the son you sent to us, Jesus, to take away our sins and make us free and allow us to be with you for the rest of our lives and to eternity. And I just pray that as we keep going, we'll be strong together through your power. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me all this week. Have a great summer. Bye. Bye.